This video is copyright protected, which is detailed on the last slide. Item 3 shows what seals and o-rings should be in your kit. The tools required for the job are also listed as well. Drain the pump housing by removing the drain plug. Remove the two stainless steel band clamps connected to the pump inlet and outlet. Save the band clamps and manifold gaskets for later use. Remove the four bolts securing the engine to the pump platform and don't forget to save the white washers that are located between the engine and the platform. Remove the 10 body screws, lock washers, and nuts from the pump assembly. Remove the body from the pump assembly and save all for later use. Remove the rubber check valve from the volute. Then remove the two side and one upper volute screws. Then remove the volute. Save all hardware for later use. Remove the impeller bolt. Then remove the impeller. Be careful not to lose the key shaft as you remove the impeller from the shaft. Remove the four bracket bolts from the rear bracket and then remove the rear bracket from the engine. Remove the old pump slinger from the drive shaft. Polish the drive unit shaft to remove any corrosion that may have formed. Clean the engine mounting surface of any debris and polish if necessary. Take the rear bracket to a flat surface to remove the seal. Use a punch and a hammer to pop out the seal from the rear bracket. Use a wrench to pry out the seal from the impeller. Install the pump slinger on the drive unit shaft. The slinger should be slid all the way back on the shaft of the drive unit so that the slinger covers the step on the drive unit shaft as shown. Apply dye electric grease to the seal and then slide on the black o-ring. Install the seal assembly into the rear bracket using a tool such as a one and a half inch pipe nipple or arbor press to give even pressure on the metal flange of the seal housing during installation. Install the four bolts with the flat washers and o-rings to hold on the rear bracket. Apply dielectric grease to the rubber portion of the ceramic seal. Ensure that the white ceramic seal surface is facing outward when inserting into the impeller hub. Be absolutely sure that the ceramic seal half is bottomed out and installed squarely. If the installation is not square, seal wobble will occur leading to premature seal failure. Install the impeller key shaft and impeller onto the engine drive shaft. Apply a light coating of dielectric grease to the o-ring segment. This will help keep it in place as you install it onto the rear bracket housing. Install the large o-ring onto the rear bracket. Reinstall the volute onto the rear bracket using the three volute screws. Reinstall the check valve onto the snout of the volute. Reinstall the pump body with the outlet flange facing up. Reattach the engine to the engine platform utilizing the four bolts. Insert rubber gaskets into the inlet and outlet side of the pump and tighten band clamps. Thread the drain plug into the pump housing. The dry seal replacement is now complete. Don't forget to prime your pump prior to starting the engine, or seal failure will occur within several seconds. The following are registered or unregistered trademarks of Douglas Dynamics LLC, Snowax, and Liquimax.